So in either case, it's not going to work out because the amplifier is going to traditionally support 4, 6 and 8 ohms. I think they would do start from 60,000. So you might have to check if that can be around 50. More and more these brands are of the same, you know, series or the same brand, then you will have the tonality maintained in the front three speakers. Finally, after a long break and illness of our videographer, we are going back live with this episode series of Get Help with Dharma Mehta, episode number 18. And for today's question, Atharva again is going to be the voice. So over to Atharva without wasting any more time and to answer all of your questions. Yes, Atharva. So in question number one, Piyush Mazumdar from Kolkata asks, can you please suggest a decent stereo setup under 50k? A decent stereo setup under 50k. So Piyush, uh, I think there are good options for budget stereo setups. Uh, first of all, we have done a review on Magnet Multi Monitor, which you can use the link above and watch that because that's a good stereo package under 50,000. There are good studio monitors also available from brands like KRK which are again good enough. There is Yamaha HS5, which is very nice. So these are all active monitors. There's Sonodyne also, which has got the SRP series, which is of active monitors. So if you're looking for an active speaker combination, then these are some of the products which you can look at. Uh, there is Klipsch 5s, 7s, 9s, those also available. I think they would do start from 60,000. So you might have to check if that can be around 50. Uh, if not, and if you're looking for a proper stereo setup wherein you have got an amplifier and two bookshelf speakers, then in that case, the Denon Seals is something which is very, very nice system wherein you get a mini compact amplifier which may or may not have a Bluetooth uh, and a Wi-Fi version. So check on that based upon the model number you select because there is N9, there is N11 and then there is a CD player as well. So with these kind of compact units, you also get a phono connection wherein you can connect a turntable or a, a record player in the future. And it comes with its two bookshelf speakers. So these kind of packages are very, very nice and would fall in the range of 50 to 60,000. So I think for a budget stereo system, these would be some of the highlights or some of the products that I would like you to check. Next question, Athava. So in question number two, Praveen Shukla from Nagpur asks, the center channel and subwoofer are the most important speakers in a home cinema setup. Can you recommend a home theater package with a hi-fi center speaker and subwoofer? Plus, is it possible to mix and match speakers from different brands like using a subwoofer from one brand and a center channel from another brand? Uh, well, Praveen, as you rightly said, uh, we always say that, you know, the main speakers in your home theater are your front LCRs and the subwoofer, the LCR goes predominantly 70% of your audio output in any movie or the content that you'll be consuming will be coming from the front. So more and more these brands are of the same, you know, series or the same brand, then you will have the tonality maintained in the front three speakers. The subwoofer for sure can be of a different brand because the subwoofer gives you the sound which you cannot listen to, but you can only feel. So that is totally fine. Like for instance, we do a lot of these kind of packages wherein the speakers are of one brand, but the subwoofer is from a different brand. So yeah, you can definitely do that. And talking about a good hi-fi package with a good center speaker, I think I'll just give you a small example that I recently had a demo about. And this was with a Polk MXT speaker. So not a very, very hi-fi speaker in the front, but a Polk MXT series speaker, which is decent enough. And I was sitting at a distance of 15, 16 feet. So that was the left, right tower speakers, the MXT 65. But the center one was from Focal. And that was the, I think, Cora or Vestia series center speaker. So they did this mismatch. And when the system was calibrated, you, I couldn't really understand that, okay, the center is really different. Uh, so if the calibration is done properly, if the graphic equalization setting is done properly, it is totally fine if you want to go for a better center speaker. Like uh, we have got the Polk Reserve series out here. We have got the monitor audio bronze here and everything is connected to the same center speaker of reserve. So yeah, that kind of mismatch can still work. But when you're doing this, make sure that the center is still one notch higher over the left rights. 
because the center speaker is the most important speaker because it gives you vocals and when there are movie scenes wherein you know the volume levels are extremely low and there is someone talking you need that sound to be very very clear so that is where having a center speaker which is a little higher or a premium product than the left right will work in your favor so you can do that kind of combination the subwoofer in the same setup can also be different but yeah i mean you know it's all trial and error so till the time you don't play with it you won't understand that so if you're doing this kind of combination i would highly recommend to audition them before you make a decision to buy because you don't want to pay without listing and then feel sorry about the system not being great so yeah do audition before playing around with this kind of setup because a simple thumb rule when you have everything of the same brand same series you know for a fact that it's going to work fine so you don't have to necessarily audition that but when you're doing this kind of combination of a separate center speaker and the separate uh, left right speaker then in that case it's always better to hear first before you put in your hard on one i hope that answers your question pravin over to the next question atharva so in question number 3 raman shankar from pune asks i have a yamaha yst3072 avr with stock speakers i have planned to upgrade the lcr speakers with bookshelf speakers rated 4 to 8 ohm impedance and power rating of 20 to 120 watt so can i connect it in series or parallel to surround left and right channel if i can connect them which is the best type of connection series or parallel the stock speaker rating is 6 ohm 15 watts okay uh, so raman um, i think what you're trying to do out here just to clarify to everyone what i understood from this question is raman is already having the yht3072 package with five speakers one subwoofer and the av receiver and now he is looking to upgrade the front three speakers that is the left center and the right speaker to bookshelf and center channel a little bigger but what he wants to do is that these speakers which he is replacing he wants to still use them now while doing this what he is trying to do is that the surround left and the surround right he wants to add two of them so one which is already there and the one which is now come from the old front left right now when he is doing that cause the amplifier has a limitation of five channel which means you can connect ideally only five speakers he is trying to connect the surround left two speakers to one channel surround right two speakers to the surround right channel now when you do this as he rightly mentioned there are two types of connection one is series second is parallel but cause raman your speaker has an impedance rating of 6 ohms when you connect them in series they are going to jump to 12 ohms similarly where you are going to connect two 6 ohm speakers in parallel the amplification circuit will get an impedance of 3 ohms so in either case it's not going to work out because the amplifier is going to traditionally support 4 6 and 8 ohms now yeah i mean it technically it is not allowed but when you still do that connection you will still see sound coming from both the speakers now what is going to happen is when you do that in parallel the amplifier is going to run on 3 ohms for the surround which means that it is going to consume too much of power eventually the amplifier is going to get heated up and it is going to start failing or it is going to start tripping so you would want to avoid doing that and for now just upgrade your lcr you can probably keep these extra speakers in spare so that when you are upgrading the amplifier as well then you can have this entire package used either in some other room or you can gift someone and you can buy a new 7 channel avr if you want to really multiply the channels plus if you are using the system in a living room uh, i think even if you use more number of speakers you are not going to get the separation because you are not assigning them to a new channel you are using them to the same channel which means that both the surround right speakers are going to give you the same sound so it's just going to fill the room with sound it's not really going to give you the required separation so i would advise you to not do that and just upgrade your lcr and keep your old surround speakers the way it is and uh, yeah i think with this uh, all the three questions have been answered if you have got some more questions which you want me to you know answer and if you want us to do this kind of uh, get help episode for then please use the link that is shared in the description as well as shared above so that we can continue bringing more such episodes of get help with tanmay mehta answering all of your questions and before we end let us pick out the winner for this particular uh, episode so atharva whom do you think 
okay so atharva has voted pravin shukla the second question that was asked about the center and the subwoofer being separate so congratulations pravin for winning this particular episode's voucher so my team is going to get in touch with you and share those uh, voucher details over the email and over the phone call to you and i look forward to connecting with you at the same time if you still have some more queries and want them to be addressed personally over a telephonic call then i recommend you to check the t20 service that we have got in the description and for more such videos and more answers for all of you stay tuned stay subscribed and don't forget to hit the like button if your video if this video answered your questions thank you so much for watching i tanmay mehta your home theater wale bhaiya we'll see you in the next one thank you